The first thing I'm going to have to do before I mount this button on my ceiling probably is um, this came with a capacitor ballast and a starter and I'm just going to have to gut all that out. Out of the packaging this is what it looks like and if I just remove the 18 watt fluorescent light um, I can take out the unnecessary compo components. I've removed the screw that holds the main cover in so I can take that out and then you can see <clears throat> you've got the capacitor, starter and ballast. You've got live earth and neutral in there yeah um, so I'm gonna have to take all this out. I've removed the ballast and I've still got the capacitor and starter to go. Right, now that I have gutted everything out, the only wires I'll be needing is this brown one and this blue one. So what I'll do now is install the um, 12 volt ballast. After installing the ballast, I now need to wire it up according to the schematics labelled on the top of the ballast. I now have the wires going into the ballast and I have the wires coming out of the ballast and going into these two wires here. If I take this battery and just take the fluorescent lamp out of here, click it in and test it out. Since I'm going to be mounting this onto the ceiling, I'm going to need to connect these two wires and run them through that hole here. Because I can't run them through the back because the ridges on this are too, um, aren't high enough. Dodgy, yes. But no one's going to see this, are they? No one's going to see this because it's going to be covered all with this. And voila! And there it is, finally. Installed with double sided tape. I got the other light off because that looks like crap. This one looks much more neat. And I also put in some proper fittings here and a good switch. Okay, so yeah.